Right now, the oil rig count in the Panhandle has dropped by 50% since June of last year. ABC 7's Adria Arahita spoke to a local economist about the impact this will have on the region. She joins us now with more. Adria? Lisa Larry, according to economist Carr Ingham, this is a classic example of supply and demand. He says that the negative effect is only a short-term effect. The oil and gas industry makes up about 20% of the Panhandle's economy. This is why economists say a drop in the rig count will have a negative effect on the region. We've had a rig count just in the Texas Panhandle over the last uh, to 10 or 12 years of up around 85 or 100. Back in June it was about 60, now it's about 30. Fewer oil rigs to operate means that the number of jobs in the industry will drop. We're going to lose, unfortunately, some oil and gas employees in the panhandle. Um, and that's going to have a broader sort of ripple effect. Economist Carr Ingham says this ripple effect will have an impact on other forms of employment as well, such as oil rig servicing companies. That's what ends up causing all this downward pressure on the economy, is not only the lost activity and uh, the purchase of goods and services by the oil and gas companies themselves, but because the wages from that industry are lost to a fairly significant degree, uh, depending on how many employees end up going, uh, losing their uh, job. Ingham says that those jobs may become available again in the future. However, the, the turmoil to a piece of metal parked in a yard is much different than the turmoil exacted on a household that has lost a job. And in order to get to a more balanced point in the supply and demand cycle, production has to fall by enough to begin to have an upward impact on prices. Ingham says the short-term negative impact will only last about 18 to 24 months before things start picking up again. Reporting in the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Adria Arahita, ABC 7 News. Adria, thank you. New tonight at 6, prosecutors say the widow of Chris Kyle, the former Navy SEAL depicted in the